Hello, my name is Bus and Bear, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the basics of animation in Rec Room. We are gonna be animating a orange cube to go up and down and side to side. So let's get right into the beginning of this animation. So first, open up your watch, click on Backpack, find Maker Pen, click on Use. That'll pull your Maker Pen right in front of you, just like this. Or if you have it favorited, you can pull it right out of your back. First, we're going to be making an orange cube, so click Create, go to Palette, select the cube, and just draw out your cube using your trigger. We're just going to get this to a good size, just like that. So next, we're going to stay in Palette, and we're going to find the magnifying glass in the top right, click on it, and press Search Palette, and search up Button. We're going to be using the Button V1 Legacy Edition, because I find it much easier to use. So we're just going to place that down near the orange cube. Along with that, we're also going to need the animation gizmo, so let me search that up. And it should look just like that. And you can just place this anywhere also in your orange cube. So, next thing we're going to need to do is go back to tools, and now click on the wire button. Now using the wire, hover it over the animation gizmo, and pull it up to the top to where you see the gear. Press your trigger and make a wire, and connect that wire to your orange cube. It should say object added to animation. Next, we're going to connect the button to the animation gizmo, find the red arrow, and do the same things before, and drag it to this little like cube right here that has the zero beside it. And you should see a wire connecting the button to the animation gizmo. So now we're going to start the actual editing process. So click on the edit button in the top left in the tool section. This is how we're going to start animating. So now click on with the click on the animation gizmo and you should see this new menu and then click on add. This is adding a keyframe which is basically how we're going to animate the cube to go up down and side to side. So now you're going to need to scroll down until you see move. Select move and we're just going to move the cube up now. And you should see this little wire with blue circles on it which means this is like animating. So it's changing position from before. So once you move it up to where you want, you can click add, and now I'm going to move it to the side. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and make this cube go on like a square. I'm going to add again, I'm going to bring it down, add another keyframe, bring it to the side, add one more and bring it to the top. And this basically makes it so the cube goes in somewhat of a circle around. So now if I'm just going to bring, I'm going to press play and you should see that it goes in like a square position and that's how like we're going to animate it. So I'm just going to stop that and bring it back to the first frame. So I'm going to click done because I am now done with my animation and if you come over to your button and press your button, you should see that it now does the animation that you created for an infinite amount of time. Now if you want your animation to stop, click configure and then click the animation gizmo and you should see this playback mode and all these other things, press stop at end, which this means now when I press the button, the cube is going to stop at the very end of the animation and just going to stay there until I press the button again. So this is how you would do something like making a door. And then for one very last thing, we're going to configure this again, and you can make the playback mode into ping pong. This is optional, and what this does is basically so your animation just basically ping pongs from the start and the end. So it would just go up and down, up and down in the circle, doing opposite way each time. So it would do like counterclockwise and then clockwise. And it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but that's what it would do. If you guys enjoyed the video, it would be super appreciated if you liked and subscribed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll have more tutorials up in the future.